Hey everyone, my name is Adrienne. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and on eBay. I go by Jewel Butterfly on Poshmark and Mercari, and I am Jewel Butterfly 23 on eBay. So if you haven't noticed, if you watch my videos before at least, I have a brand new haircut and I absolutely love it. I love I just took a chance and chopped it all off. But that's not why we're here today. We're here to talk about photography. So during my last video, I purchased $50 worth of inventory and we're going to photograph some of those uh, pieces during this video. And I'll show you some tips and tricks that I've learned along my journey, as well as some tips from a couple poshers that um, have some things that they'd like to share with you too. So let's get started. Okay, so when I get home from work, the sun is already down, usually, or going down, and I don't have any light. So I personally purchased these Lemo Studio soft light, soft box lights. You don't need it. Um, during what I did when I first started out as a reseller is I went, I would wait until um, a certain time, I think it was between 9 and 11 o'clock in the morning, where my office was bright. I have two windows that let in a whole bunch of sunlight so that's what helped me backgrounds you can use a white furry rug which this one I, I got before my reselling journey for Christmas for my office from my sweetheart and then I also picked up these bright white this is a foam board here and there's a um, just the regular I don't remember what these are called but I got this one the only problem with this is that it got punctured in during storage so I opted for the foam board which is actually a lot better in my case so I'll show you how we're going to use these when we photograph some shoes for props use whatever you have in your house so I have this that I purchased that's going to be in actually in an upcoming video where I got that and I also use I put this flower arrangement together um, on my own from the Dollar Tree and I found these at Dollar Tree these style books so I you you will see them in my um, Poshmark closet as well or eBay all my listings so I just try to use whatever I have in my house so I don't have to buy anything else and kind of put them in a really cute way or cute I don't know just kind of style it a different way but shoes are my very favorite item to photograph just because they're so simple to photograph and you don't have to do too much so I'll show you in a second I'll actually show you some pictures of what I took with these shoes now when you're taking the pictures make sure you get all angles so you want to get the tips of the shoe just so, so that people know they're not scuffed up or if they are scuffed up the bottoms I don't know why to this day it still amazes me that people want a picture of the bottom of the shoe so try to get it as clean as you can um, I think people will understand if you can't get it too too clean a picture of the heel and the back is important because you want to make sure that you show if there's any denting on the heels um, the sides really just the whole shoe try to get every angle that you can try to get it as clean as possible before you take these pictures and if you see any little dust particles try to get them off the shoe too so this one if it doesn't come off make sure you indicate if there are any any types of damage this one's actually in great condition so awesome Okay, so one of my favorite poshers name is Ebony. She goes by Closet323 on Poshmark and Instagram and gives daily videos, which I love. So I asked her for some advice for this video. And something that she said to share with you is that to make sure the picture reflects the price you are asking for your item. So it's super, super important, she says. If I want $60 for something, I better sure as hell have pictures backing that up. Also make sure the pics are clear and not blurry. Hate to say it, but people will look for a reason to give you a lower rating 
or return. So make sure you don't filter the hell out of it and that it looks pretty much true to the product they will receive. So I think that's great advice that she gave. And I love, again, her energy is always at a 10 on Instagram. So I, I reached out to her specifically and because she has a lot of trendy products, uh, trendy clothing, shoes, items in her Poshmark closet. So follow her on Instagram if you want daily tidbits of uh, advice. And I love how she has her own aesthetic. So she has her own personal style, which is something that we should all be trying to achieve and really asking herself, what do we want to portray in our Poshmark closets? And in her case, you can see she does a lot of great flat lay um, type of photography. So she has an item on the ground or, or carpet um, and she takes a picture. She strategically places different accessories or shoes near or on her items so that when you see it, see it, you're interested and you wanna click on it and you wanna see more detail or you wanna learn more about this item and then determine if it's something that you wanna keep or actually buy. Another thing that I like to do that what she does is um, zoom into those details, especially when it's a unique item, you want to zoom in on those details so your customer can see what they're going to buy. Even if it's flaws, um, zoom in any flaws that might be on the item. Okay, so for this flat lay, I just jumbled up or folded up the sweater, the Lane Bryant sweater, put a few feminine like items. If I do show shoes and accessories with the item, I try to make sure one, it's mine, and two, that it's something within my closet just in case somebody wants it, wants to buy it, want to be able to say, yeah, hey, these shoes are actually in my closet if you want to buy them. Another thing you can do is hang your garment on a the wall on a hanger and try to get pictures. If you don't have a mannequin, that's a great option. And so I just have a velvet hanger here. There are people who have beautiful, beautiful hangers that they've DIY'd or ordered from someone. So maybe try to find a really nice decorative one or make your own pretty bedazzle it, whatever you need to do. So this dress, I'll take pictures of it on the wall and then I'll show you my mannequin after this. Okay, so this is Rosa and she is my mannequin that I purchased off of OfferUp for $25. So look on your offer up deals, find one that you love. And now she's family, so I call her Rosie. And she is a smaller size mannequin, so I can't put everything on her. So as an alternative, I'll use the hanger method or flat lays so that I could still show my item and it looks great. So my vibe in my closet is a boutique feel. I want it, want it to look like someone's walking by a window of a boutique and they see Rosie modeling the most amazing outfit. So that's the vibe I go for. So I have a mirror and a um, picture next to her along with flowers just in case they do appear in the shot uh, when I, after I crop the photo. So I try to make it look as appealing as possible. So again, that vibe where you, you're walking by a boutique and you just see something and you wanna go inside to try it on. Okay, so this next posture, you are just going to love her pictures. So her name is Rue San Francisco. If you already follow her, you know exactly why I'm featuring her on my channel. So if you look through her picture, she has the most amazing backgrounds. And so I reached out to her to see if she can give us some tips. And she said, the main one is to find your happy space and don't be afraid to take your mannequin for a spin. 
She says she's literally, literally driven Gertie, her mannequin, around San Francisco scouting for nice spots to shoot and have a nice assortment of parks in her pocket for fun options with lighting and backdrops. So in San Francisco, she says, and, and other cities, many private building, buildings are required to have a POPOS or privately owned public open space. They often don't publicize it beyond the required plaque that is mounted mount it near the entrance. You gotta look for it, it's small, but it is open to anyone during business hours and it is usually an awesome terrace park with views. I'm taking Gertie to one next week and she'll keep us posted. But oh my gosh, everything that she has in her, her closet, the views, the backdrop, I mean, she, look at all this. I mean, <laughs> she's got great detail, great pictures. Who would use an antler, think to use an antler to hang your purse from? I wouldn't. And, you know, chili pepper she uses as her backdrops, you know, vegetables and fruits. I mean, look at this one. I had to do a double take on this because I thought they were like little marbles or something, but they're cherries. Who uses cherries? I would have never thought to use cherries for a prop, you know, like just reach into my refrigerator and grab whatever's in there. It is, but it's so cute and it's so unique. So that's one thing. You don't have to follow the norm. Do what you feel is true to you and what you will have fun with, just like she says. Okay, so those are my tips and tricks for everything that I currently use as I'm posting pictures or taking pictures uh, for Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And um, big shout outs to Rue San Francisco and Closet323 for sharing their own tips. And that's the goal of this channel is for us to gather, collaborate, and share with each other because we all start somewhere and you know, rather than have someone struggle along their, their journey, I want to try to use um, this platform to help share some tips and tricks so that you know we can all be successful within our futures within our uh, business so i really appreciate those two for sharing with us during this video so give them a thumbs up if you liked their advice and um, visit them on poshmark share their closets leave your closet name down below with a tip that you would like to provide and maybe some tips for the next video, which is going to be about editing your pictures. So we're gonna take some pictures and we're gonna take them from boring and dull pictures and then move them over to that bright and beautiful side. So if you wanna see how I do that, go ahead and join next week and we will definitely, I will show you, hopefully some others will be able to share their tips and tricks too. And if so, we'll see you next week or you'll see us next week. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful sales week.